Hi, I'm going to show you how to figure out the combination of a standard master combination lock if the lock is already opened. Now, if the lock is closed, if it's latched, there are other ways of figuring out the combination and you can see those on YouTube elsewhere or on the internet. And I'm not sure that my method is even faster, but anyway, here it goes. So inside of this lock, it's hard to see here. I'll try taking this out in the sun later. If you get <coughs> a jeweler screwdriver or an ice pick or something small, flat blade screwdriver, there's a spring latch in here that holds the shackle in place. If you push down this spring latch, you can see that there are three small metal wheels inside with slots in them. So let's say that this, you know, I just cut one out of cardboard here. Let's say that this is one of the wheels. So you turn, as you turn the dial, the wheel turns. And then as you get one number and turn the other way, this wheel will stop turning and the next wheel will turn. And what you're trying to do is line up all of these wheels so that their slots are all facing this little hole here. So they're, you're looking dead on into the slots as you're looking into the hole. You turn the combination normally and the first wheel you want to set is the one that's furthest to the back of the lock. Then you start turning the other direction. Oh, write down the number after you get that first one. Start turning in the other direction, get that second wheel lined up, and then start turning again in the first direction, and then you get that final third slot lined up. And write down all those numbers. So I'll go out in the sun and maybe you'll be able to see. It's, it's really hard to take a picture of this. Alright, so here we are out in the sun. I'm going to attempt to do this. I'm not sure if you can really see, but here's that little latch that holds the shackle in. And I'm going to push that down. And maybe you can see those little wheels in there. I don't know. I turn it just the right way. Yeah. Yeah. But you can see at least two of the wheels. They're kind of silvery and the third one is actually just part of this knob here. So the idea, kind of hard to do this in video at the same time, but I'm going to try, is Turn this knob, no, this dial normally, until you see the first slot in the first wheel appear right in this hole. So there it is actually. That's the, I don't know, is it showing? Maybe you can see it. It's a that's all there is. There's a slot there. And then you start turning the other way. That number is 27. Start turning the other way past that first number, which was 27. And then you try to get the next wheel to line up. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Sun went behind a cloud. Okay, right about there, yeah. Okay, that second wheel is lined up now. I don't know if you can see it. It's, um, the second one is lined up. And then continue on until you get the three numbers. 
So from our little exercise of holding this little thing open and looking at the wheels, we've determined that the numbers uh, to line up the notches right in that hole that you can look through are 27, 9, and 39. So those are the numbers as they line up in the hole. Now to get the number of the combination we want to subtract about 10, sometimes 11, from each of these numbers. So minus 10, that's 17, minus 10, negative 1, minus 10, that's 29. Negative 1, that's actually equal to 39, because you go past 0. Okay, so 17, 39, 29, is the combo that we, we should try. Um, if it doesn't work, then try subtracting 11 or 12 or 9 or some other increment. Alright, we're back outside again. Um, as you'll remember, the combination that we calculated inside was 17 past 17 to 39 and then 29. But don't be a fool like I was in the beginning and just lock it now to try it out because it's very likely you made an error and you might have to adjust the numbers a little bit. Um, so at this point take your screwdriver again see you dialed what you think is a combination and push this latch and if you did whoops if you did things right, you should be able to push the latch right all the way back with ease. Um, what you should do, it's kind of like falling in love. When you do, you really know it. Uh, maybe you should get another lock, dial the correct combination, and then push the latch on that one so you know exactly what it feels like to be correct. Now let me uncombination this a little bit. See, this is not this is not the correct combination. It kind of almost sort of goes in, right? And you can kind of convince yourself, well, maybe that was that was enough to but no, if if you're experienced, you know, no, that doesn't feel right. That that's not all the way open. Well, anyway, so the latch test seems to work, so we'll lock it and hope that this works. So we got um, 17. What was it? 39. Please work, please work, please work. Yay! Okay.